The debt ceiling is the legal limit on how much the U.S. government can borrow to pay for its spending. Congress has to approve any increase or suspension of this limit, otherwise the Treasury Department will run out of money to pay its bills. The current deadline to raise or suspend the debt ceiling is June 1, if Congress fails to act by then, the U.S. government will face a default on its debt, which could have disastrous consequences for the economy and the world. What are some of these consequences and risks? Let's take a look at how a default could trigger a financial crisis, disrupt global markets, damage U.S. creditworthiness, and harm millions of Americans who rely on government payments. First, a default could trigger a financial crisis because it would cause a sudden and severe shock to the global financial system. The U.S. government debt is considered one of the safest and most liquid assets in the world, and it is widely held by investors, banks, central banks, and foreign governments. If the U.S. government fails to pay its interest or principal on its debt, it would create uncertainty and panic among these creditors, who would demand higher interest rates or sell off their holdings of U.S. debt. This would drive up borrowing costs for the U.S. government and other borrowers, and reduce the availability of credit in the economy. A credit crunch could lead to a recession, a collapse in asset prices, and a wave of bankruptcies and defaults among businesses and households. Second, a default could disrupt global markets because it would undermine the role of the US dollar as the world's reserve currency. The US dollar is used as a medium of exchange, a store of value, and a unit of account in international trade and finance. Many commodities, such as oil and gold, are priced in US dollars. Many countries peg their currencies to the US dollar or use it as their official currency. If the US government defaults on its debt, it would erode confidence in the US dollar and its stability. This could cause volatility and instability in exchange rates, commodity prices, and capital flows. It could also trigger a flight to other currencies or assets that are perceived as safer or more reliable. Third, a default could damage U.S. creditworthiness because it would lower the credit rating of the U.S. government and its ability to borrow in the future. The credit rating of the U.S. government reflects its willingness and ability to repay its debt obligations on time and in full. A default would signal that the U.S. government is not trustworthy or responsible with its finances. This would lower the credit rating of the U.S. government and increase its risk premium. A lower credit rating would make it harder and more expensive for the U.S. government to borrow money from domestic and foreign lenders. It would also affect the credit ratings of other entities that are linked to or dependent on the U.S. government, such as state and local governments, federal agencies, and government-sponsored enterprises. Fourth, a default could harm millions of Americans who rely on government payments because it would force the Treasury Department to prioritize some payments over others or delay some payments altogether. The Treasury Department has to pay for various obligations every month, such as Social Security benefits, Medicare reimbursements, military salaries, interest on debt, tax refunds, and grants to states. If the Treasury Department runs out of money to pay for all these obligations, it would have to choose which ones to pay first and which ones to postpone or skip. This would create uncertainty and hardship for millions of Americans who depend on these payments for their income or expenses. It could also disrupt vital public services and programs that are funded by federal grants or contracts. These are some of the potential consequences and risks of not raising the debt ceiling by June as you can see, a default could have devastating effects on the economy and the world. That's why many experts urge Congress to act quickly and responsibly to avoid this scenario.